Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to get ED Tracker or Ed Tracker working for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We have been uh, testing out a few devices, but uh, SimUK has those those devices. I only have this head tracking unit, so this is the one I use. It is the wireless pro version. So I just want to give you a quick rundown on how to set things up so you can get uh, this working on any plane. So quickly, I want to give you a rundown on what inputs I use. First of all, I use the joystick input. As you can see here, these are my XYZ axes. I have them set up like so. And my mapping, I have a little bit of uh, dead zone. So I have 5% dead zone, both on pitch, on roll, and on yaw. So uh, going back to this one, I used joystick input on the first one. Then I used free track enhanced on the second one. Uh, if you want to go by my advice, use track IR and hide free track. That's the option I selected. And then to locate the DLL, you just scroll down to NP Client 64. If you're using uh, Windows 64, click on that, press OK. And then for the last one, I have the Acela turned on. These are my default settings for sensitivity. And you saw the mapping. Okay, so this is how I have OpenTrack set up. Uh, this is my setting for my head tracker let's reset the view real quick all right now we go into the game and you have to go to controls click on ed tracker pro wireless and make sure you have these settings cockpit look down look left look right look up there are some that say look diagonal down, look diagonal up, and uh, don't use those look diagonal right or whatever. So you se select these four, set them up on your joystick. Hang. How would you go about doing it? If you press on it, and let's clear it just to give uh, an example. So you start scanning and then you bob your head down real quick and the input will show up and then you just validate and it shows up here as Y minus. Let's do the same for, uh, for this one. We'll clear it. Okay, select an input, start scanning, click left real quick, pops up click left I mean twitch your head left and then it'll, it'll pick it up and then validate and it's set up so these are the four settings I have to use it apply and save go back into the game and here we are this is wait Okay. The reason it's doing that is because open track isn't turned on. So let's quickly go to open track. Start that. Even though we have Ed Tracker already working, we'll just reset the view real quick. Start it up again. Now things should be should be okay. There you go clicks back into the uh, into the dead zone works much better than uh, the other way really really cool you can uh, reset the view with uh, numpad one zoom in zoom out all right let's fly this plane see how well we do while we're in the air, flaps one, let's 
get her up in the air. Flaps are off. Beautiful weather. trim it out a bit just gonna get some earth uh, altitude so we can see oh we're losing altitude there we go we're out of the clouds very nice Get our trim down. Level it off. He's off on the airspeed. Now, if you use your external camera and you try and do that, you'll just move around this way. Same thing. basically get the idea of how it works on the outside let me know in the chat if you're enjoying uh, these tutorials just wanted to let people know how to set it up for uh, Ed Tracker Wireless Pro whoever has that device that's the way to do it uh, SimUK also does a quick tutorial on it so check out his channel, uh, check out his video as well, let him know you came from us. So we got it working. Uh, he has a lot of uh, head tracking units that you can check out as well. And how to set those up for, uh, for different games. So go jump into his channel, say hello, and tell him you came from uh, Jimmy Dali. So cheers guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. This was a quick tutorial on how to set up ED Tracker. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.